Hello again. It's Monday, March 19th, 2018. This is Journal TV, and I'm Jerry Clark. It's time for the news. The annual shortest St. Patrick's Day parade turned out to be successful once again. Joe Kaufman won the Ugly Knees contest, and the crowd sang happy birthday to three, including 100-year-old Alan Hickman. Watch. I have to say, some were hairy, some were bony, some were like a piece of meat. But I have to say, I'm going to go with number two. We're going to celebrate Mr. Alan Hickman's 100th birthday today. And could you all join together and sing a little birthday song for him? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy Several fly fishing teams consisting of a WNL student and a VMI student faced off in some very friendly fishing competition this weekend at Escatama Farms in far western Allegheny County. Listen. Build some esprit de corps between the two schools um, so we don't actually fish uh, competing one school against another. We pair the schools up and uh, one angler from WNL fishes with the BMI cadet. Um, and it's all about having a good time and catching trout out here. And now a word from our sponsor. Allegheny Highlands Community Services teamed up with local artist David Hazlett at the Life Skills Center in Clifton Forge on Saturday for a special paint night fundraiser event. Watch. I walk around the whole time and paint. That way, like I was telling them earlier, you can't hide from me. The Allegheny Highlands Regional Library will be hosting a special finance seminar with Highlands Community Bank Executive Brandon Caldwell, the speaker. The session, set for next Saturday at the library, will deal with several important finance concepts and is open to the public. Much more information on this session is available on AlleghenyJournal.com right now. The 22nd Annual Allegheny Highlands Bike Rodeo will be held on May 5th this year, according to Allegheny County Deputy Sergeant Chris Fisher. The event attracts hundreds of local families and kids and normally results in more than 200 brand new bikes being given away. Much more information about this event is available on AlleghenyJournal.com. Let's take a look at some upcoming events. And now for local obituaries. Bernice Grove, 79 of Buena Vista, died last Wednesday. Her funeral was held earlier today at the Rockbridge Memorial Gardens. Wilfred Bartlett Jr., 65 of Rockbridge County, died last Wednesday. 
His funeral was set Friday at the Harrison Funeral Home. Kenneth Armstrong, 75, of Rafine, died last Wednesday. No services are planned. Jack Hanner, 82, of Clifton Forge, died last Friday. His funeral was set Wednesday at the Nicely Funeral Home. Charles Chick Bowen, 75, of Covington, died last Friday. Memorial service will be held at a later date. Patricia Ford, 84, of Ronsford, died last Friday. Her funeral is scheduled this Thursday at the St. Catherine of Siena Catholic Church in Ronsford. Let's check out the local weather forecast. On Tuesday, it should be mostly cloudy with rain, high of 42 and a low of 34. On Wednesday, mostly cloudy with rain and snow, high of 40 and a low of 30. And on Thursday, partly cloudy, high of 44 and a low of 29 degrees. But there is really wonderful news. There's only one more day until springtime in Virginia. I don't know about you folks, but springtime in Virginia is the greatest season of the year in the editor's opinion. I can't wait and it begins tomorrow. And that's the way it is on Monday, March 19th, 2018. More stories, photos, videos, and interviews are available 24-7, 365 on AlleghenyJournal.com, YouTube, and on our soaring Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching Journal TV. The Woodlands Health and Rehab Center offers a safe transition program to get you well and back to the community. Our outdoor therapy area features different terrains and offers a unique therapeutic experience. Come see the difference. The Woodlands Health and Rehab Center, living made better.